hello and welcome to the EEPROM 9. This is a short one because this keyboard here you see before you is the result of an entire weekend. Well, I lie, not the entire weekend, but at least a whole day and a part of it. Building this keyboard for the Acorn Electron board for the um, portable electron project. We have here my first initial, this is because testing these boards, they don't actually run without the keyboard. So this is dummy keyboard that allows you to test the computer and it has the bonus feature of having the break key included, which is this side and the caps lock key, which is achieved by uh, simulating holding shift and um, caps lock with two diodes. And he's the cap lock LED and he's the power LED. And that just allows you to test it without it being plugged into a monitor or anything like that. But yeah, so one of these is handy to build. You can look at the uh, schematic of the uh, electron and see how it's constructed. They use um, brown, green, orange resistors. You need four of them. They are 15K. They are surprisingly annoying to get hold of. I had to raid every analog circuit board I have. Sorry about the CRT flicker, nothing I can do about it. But yeah, it looks pretty neat. And we got caps lock LED, red. I thought about doing orange, but I went with red. Underneath we have rat's nest wiring, although fairly neat for rat's nest wiring of my kind. Perf board, I will be casing this up and whatnot in good time. But yeah, I just wanted to show that off yeah and then laying on the floor down there is the uh, keyboard schematic from the old service manual i printed out years ago now back when i first got it using the college printer yes that's how long ago it was but yeah thanks for watching also before i go if you've got any uh, good resources and where to build a uh, positive 5 volt and negative 5 volt power supply aka a center tapped 10 volt power supply please um throw links into the websites and whatnot that do good circuits uh because i want to try and make this potentially battery powered that's still in the air at the moment but the other thing is, also throw any links to any um, known good ones that you can buy. Because, well, you can get 12 cent negative 12 volts and positive 12 volts. Or send a tapped 24 volt power supplies. But, yeah, the 5 volt ones, they're not so common these days. Uh, so, yeah, a little pointing prodding me in the right direction is required. But, yeah, for now, thanks for watching. And yep, that CRT is still going strong.